Right, we're here in the workshop. We've got this speaker set up. It's just a small JBL hi-fi speaker, nothing special. And we're just going to be using it for testing this radio cassette player that I found in the garage. Probably been there for 10 years or more. This is a Blaupunkt Sydney SQR49. It's got FM and AM bands on there. You can see it can tune to UHF, that's what we normally call FM, medium wave and long wave. It's got uh, five presets on there for the radio tuner. We've got uh, low and high tone control, front and rear fader. So this is actually a four speaker model. We've got front and rear speakers, volume and balance for left to right there. Uh, this is also the auto reverse model. So by pressing these buttons both at the same time, you don't actually have to take the cassette out and flip it over. That will do the job for you. Um, no idea if this works because, as I say, it's been sitting there for so many years. Still got most of the connectors there in the back. You can see these These are called two-pin speaker DIN plugs, which were very common back in the 80s. Uh, two-pin two speaker DINs, which can only go in one way round. There we go. Uh, positive connection there. Negative connection goes straight to the body of the thing, and that's where the aerial goes in there. So this was actually made in Malaysia by Blaupunkt, who are a German company, who are actually a division of Bosch. So you can see it says Bosch Telecom there, and it says Proton brackets UK, because this particular uh, specification of radio cassette was for the Proton cars that were imported to the UK. And this highly specced one with the auto reverse and the four speakers was only available in the 1.5 SE, which was top of the range Proton model. So we're going to connect this up and let's see whether it works or not. Just put some kind of soft surface down there to rest the front on while I have a look at the connections on the back. So here's the connections from our speaker. We're just going to connect one up for testing purposes, then I can actually move the DIN from onto all four of those positions to make sure that all four outputs are working but uh, there happens to be one of these chock blocks on the back so I will use that to connect one of the speaker leads that one we'll just twist together for testing purposes We've got a 12 volt power supply rigged up here, so I'll connect that to there. Negative. Let's just clip it onto this metal plate here. See if we get anything. So this is the volume and the on off switch. I made a little noise there and we've got something on the display now. Not sure whether you can see that. Is that coming on the camera? Bring it forward. And that's tuning forward, tuning backwards. No audio coming out of it at the moment, but we don't know whether it's one of those particular models that blanks the audio out until it finds a channel. Obviously, it's not going to find anything because there's no aerial plugged into it. Let's see if we can change the band, go to medium wave. Uh, still nothing coming out. Let's try a cassette, see if we get anything from that. Bit noisy. So that's actually playing the cassette. Sounds fairly decent. Not bad for ten years of non-use. See if it flips over. Very good. Is that fast forwarding? You would normally detect a, a change in the tone of the motor when it's going at fast speed. Don't know where we were in the tape. It might take a long time for it to get to the end, especially if it's not going at full 
fast forward. Let's inject it and have a look. So we're about halfway through the cassette there. See if it's actually moving it on. Yes, it is. Look, it's moving it on. So we're getting closer to the end. And we'll see if the end detection and auto reverse mechanism is working. I assume it is because the when you depress both buttons it does flip over so hopefully it can do that itself. There we go, I heard it hit the end of the tape and it's popped out. And that seems to be working alright. Now I'm going to carry on and try all four speaker outputs and give it a bit of a clean up. But thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and help us create more videos all about UK spec protons and the parts that accompany them. Thank you very much.